Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and we got Gunslinger Spillway Suicidal. I was reading some manga recently, and, uh... Yeah, the sound is fine. We got the, um... KF2 OST in the background, so uh, I just wanted to make sure that everything was good to go. So I was reading some manga recently, and the name of the manga was Jitsu wa Ore Saikyo Deshita. And, uh, I punch... I like punching the names of manga into Google Translate to, uh, to, to see what, oh goodness gracious, to see what, uh, like, Google Translate will tell me they mean, just because I love seeing how bad Google Translate is at times. So I punch it in, and, uh, let me see if I, actually, I have it open in the background right now still. Yeah. It's, uh, Google Translate says, it means it was really good. I'm like, not, not quite. The uh, the actual, the actual name is uh, the the actual translation is the truth is I'm the strongest, and uh, I don't know. Google Translate just cannot translate Japanese to uh, to English at all. It's uh, it's hilarious seeing it. Sometimes it'll do really really well um, with the the particular the, with the simpler things. You'll at least get the idea across, but. Uh, once, once context is at all relevant, um, it's it's just completely, completely off the mark every single time, and I love seeing it, and I love laughing at it. Um, there was one the other day, which was uh, I forget what it was actually. I can't, I can't, remember, I can't even remember the name, but it was something like. Uh, um, the the name. In English, the English, the proper English translation was something like, uh, "The hero is tired of being reincarnated, so he lives his life out as a F rank adventurer with his two abilities from being reincarnated, um, or, or something, something of that nature." Was like the uh, the English translation of it, some something along those lines, anyway. So I punched it into Google as I do, right, and it's like. Um, the second cell phone is really good, and I'm like, uh-huh. All right, Google. Whatever, whatever, whatever you say. Um, but anyway, the Jitsu wa Ore Saikyo Deshita was, uh, particularly, uh, amusing to me. Because it's not even a difficult one to, uh, to, to get. Because you have the Ore, which is, like, I. So you, you, you think they'd have at least I in the translation, but they just... Google doesn't even have it. And, uh... Jitsu wa is like the truth is. And then, like, ore. So, like, Jitsu wa ore is like the truth is I. And then am something. And, uh, they just... It's completely off the mark. It's a, it's a good example of, of why you should not use uh, Google Translate. There's a uh, another translator like online translation thing which uh, which actually does reasonably well uh, it's called deepl it's deepl.com it's 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 leagues better than uh, than Google Translate at least for Japanese to English I have not tested it with other things because like I don't know other languages really at least not ones that are on uh, deepl um, whereas I do know at least to a certain extent um, Japanese so it's uh, I can't I can't really verify the the accuracy of it <laughs> well, um, with other languages because um, I don't I don't know them well enough like I can understand you know Spanish Italian German um, French um, like most Latin languages I can I can generally understand what somebody's trying to say uh, in in like with the written word anyway um, but I, I don't know it well enough to be able to be like, yeah, this is definitely the way they were saying this. And like, no, I'm just, I'm out of here. We're, we're done. Just, uh, you, no, I don't like this bot. <laughs> See it. Um, I don't, I don't know any other languages well enough to be able to, to confidently say, yeah, that's accurate. Because sometimes there's, there's nuances too, right? With, with the way that words are saying, being said. Like with, uh, for instance, with Jitsu wa Ore Saikyo Deshita, um, which I'm, I'm slowly getting worse at saying. As I, as I try to uh, speak it faster. Um, the order is like a, a masculine 
and like kind of arrogant way to say I. Um, so it wouldn't be like the MC is obviously not going to be a girl, um, and uh, they're they're going to be probably uh, a little bit more on the uh, the masculine and like uh, um, like confident side of things, and kind of probably like teenage year immature ish maybe uh, violence, you know, some something of that nature. Uh, whereas if it was like Watashi or whatever, then then you might have a little bit more. I mean, that's that's more of a generic kind of eye. Um, but like that's that's in the thing, and you're not going to get that from just kind of having a, a general understanding of the language. You might be able to see like, oh yeah, they're saying that they're the strongest, but you're not going to have like all the all the extra bits that go in. That's why machine translations are, are so hard to do. Because there's there's just a lot of a lot a lot there's a lot that goes into uh, to translating a language from one to another. Um, you can't really just do it with with the machine for for the most part. Um, with some you can kind of like you can translate generally from like any romance language to, to any romance language and like Google's probably gonna do fine. Um, Honestly, from like most Latin languages to most Latin languages, machine translations will do acceptably. Um, but even even then, it's it's not. I wouldn't I wouldn't say you're doing a, a particularly fine job. Of, you're not you're not getting a job as a translator. We'll put it that way. You're not you're not going to be uh, somebody who works in in the uh, translation industry. You're not going to be you know working for translating like uh, Spanish soap operas or whatever over to to English. If, uh, if you're using Google Translate, there's a. Uh, even though you could understand what's being said, you're not going to get the the nuances. And then there's also like cultural things too that that go into it that machine translations can't really do. And then the languages evolve and, and grow over time too, and uh, it's just not reasonable to maintain that. So there's uh, there's a lot of work that goes into it, but it's a. Uh, a lot more than I could do writing a machine translator, for sure. I'm not saying I could do better, but it is funny to, to, to punch stuff into it and see how wrong it can be. I enjoy it at times. So yeah, I always punch in whenever I'm reading a new manga. Not whenever, but uh, oftentimes when I read a new manga, I'll punch the, uh, the Japanese title into Google Translate to see how close it gets to like an accurate translation. And uh, you can't the other thing is, is you can't actually take the English translation for it either, because uh, like you can't take the English name for it, because like uh, a manga will have, um, you know, an, an English name and a Japanese name. You can't take the English name because sometimes they're just completely off the mark. Um, trying to think of a good example, but I can't. I can't think of it right now, unfortunately. But sometimes it's just the the Japanese name translates to one thing, and then the uh, like there, there's one like romancey type manga where uh, the title is something about love or whatever, and then the English name is like Scum Like Us, and it's just completely different from the from the English translation. Um. The, the English the English name is, is completely different from the English translations. You can't trust that. You have to actually be able to understand what is being said to be able to really have fun with it because uh, a lot of the times the names are actually pretty close to the uh, to the English like the machine translated thing. So maybe maybe that's why it happens. Um, but it's uh, it's always it's always good fun. When it's just completely off the mark, I get a, I get a good chuckle out of it. It's always my favorite thing when I learn when I read a new manga and I get to, to punch it in there and see how bad it is. I'm just I'm sick of this boss. We're just we're breaking you down, okay? Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna break you down one little 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 by little, okay? 
Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing these past couple of days, is reading uh, Jutsu wa Ore Saikyo Deshita. Um, actually, I read it pretty quickly because it's pretty short. But I got a laugh out of it. That's 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 really the, the moral of the story, what I spent 10 minutes <laughs> rambling about. It's good fun, though. It's good fun. I like it. But that's going to do it for today. We got... Wow. Uh, we got a, a Neon Mark III encrypted USB. And that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.